infected with hip hop. What up everybody, DJ Dirty Digits hanging out once again in Scratch DJ Academy in New York City. And we're here to bring you another scratch tutorial. Uh, this scratch is a record control technique and a scratch called the tug job. So uh, check it out. I'm gonna show you how this thing kind of breaks down. So what I wanna do first is I'm gonna get on top of my sample. Just like I would originally do anything, I'm gonna get to the very top. To make this scratch stand out, and really what this scratch is about, is I need to lead myself in a little bit. So I'm gonna, not, I'm gonna be at the very beginning, but I'm gonna go just a little bit in, so I can start with a nice backwards motion. This is really designed about pulling and pushing the record to get extra sounds added to the repertoire that we have. So now that I'm in, I'm gonna pull the record back and then release it forward. So I'm gonna have this small backwards before I go forward. Just like that. Let's do this a couple more times to get familiar with the technique. So it's really all about setting this thing up. Top of the sample, lead in. Now we're set up to do the scratch. Pull the record backward before we go forward. And then push the record forward before we go back. So one more time, I'm gonna lead in. Now I'm set up, I'm gonna do the backwards motion and pause and then do the forwards motion. That's step one, and step two is I come back. So all together, without the fader, we can get some extra sounds into everything else that we're doing. So this scratch is traditionally done with a two-click flare, but you can do anything and kind of make a technique your own. But I'm gonna demonstrate this with the two-click flare right now. If you're not familiar with the two-click technique, check out any of our other videos. Uh, familiarize yourself on the two-click fader motion, and that's exactly what I'm gonna put in here to make this thing happen. So as I go, I'm set up, I'm gonna pull the record back, and as I move the record forward, after that backwards motion, once it starts to go forward, that's when I'm gonna place my two-click and cut it up. So this is gonna give me a total of four sounds. The first one being backwards, and the next three from the two-click motion on the fader. Now I've got that part down, I just need to repeat it as I go back. I'm gonna push the record forward from my first sound, and as I come back, that two-click motion is gonna make the next three. So four going forward, and four on the return. So one more time, all together. And then forward to back. One more time, all together. And then forward to back. It's a really fun one. You can build the momentum, and it has a really nice balance with record and fader control. So uh, let's do it as a quick little exercise to a beat, and then we'll get out of here. So I'm going to rock this beat right here. So we want to start slow and we want to break everything up that we do. So I'm going to start with just the record motion and then we'll add the fader in. So I have my lead and I'm going to go. My next step, one more time, backwards to forward, and then forward to backward. Let's add the fader. And then forward to back. All together. Tug job. So you can have a little um, idea of placing your accents and putting your own personal influence on the record at those sort of moments. Let's end this all together with a little combo, and that's it. Dirty Digits, Scratch DJ Academy, New York City. Thanks for hanging out with us. Be sure to check out our other videos. Hit like, subscribe, comment. Peace.